my uh, 20 minute impression of uh, Wema Khawatu. <laughs> So welcome in my terrace, lovely private terrace with, of course, amazing colorful walls and tiles and amazing view. This is so stunning. I think it's funny that uh, we have a negative shape <laughs> dome and a positive shape dome. I think it uh, could be inspiring for me to paint and I have this gorgeous view of uh, Wanahato and I was just uh, thinking I think I can see the street I painted earlier out there see the greenhouse at the top and then the turquoise and the yellow in here so I was sitting a bit uh, on the steps of this blue house out there so you can tell that I climbed a bit uh, quite much uh, from the ground and to explore uh, Wanahato. So almost uh, the top, I would uh, say. And remember when we had this kind of view with this uh, tower once again, we were the other side, uh, probably a bit uh, out there. I am not sure I can precisely uh, locate the place, but we were the other side of here, so that's quite a funny. And this uh, building is the Mercado Hidalgo, so it's a really huge, uh, wonderful, uh, nice uh, market. I started by painting uh, the sky and uh, having the impression of the dome with a negative painting, so keeping the paper white for the dome and painting all around. kind of a neutral, warm neutral mix uh, of colors for the shadows and details and the dirty parts uh, of uh, the subject. And you can tell that every brush stroke is really loose and I'm going more towards an overall impression of course that the depiction of an architectural subject.
Then I uh, kept going by uh, creating this impression of the colorful houses in uh, Juana Juato with uh, using a flat brush and uh, painting a bit of the houses uh, that way in a really abstract uh, manner. The problem is you have to a bit of a wash your brush every time you change the color, uh, so it can get a bit muddy and a bit annoying, you know, to try to clean the brush really well each time. Uh, that's why I am sometimes kind of dropping a few spots or a few houses in here uh, of uh, one color, uh, of one color, and then I go to another color. kept uh, more white uh, in the mountain but uh, you can tell that it's a lot of uh, greenery and uh, it was uh, too much uh, distracting uh, you know regarding to this dome when uh, there were too much white so that's why after a while I uh, filled a bit with some uh, not too bright green to give the sense of greenery and just keeping a few whites here and there to evoke some uh, wider lighter facades and uh, subject. Maybe I could add a few dots at the window for the houses to get just a slightly better sense of detail but in a sense I don't want to disturb too much the painting with too much uh, details uh, in, in here. And then uh, the dark uh, dome so starting with the yellow part with the uh, quinacridone gold and uh, cadmium yellow orange. dropping a bit of uh, the darker part with the Venetian red and also some uh, transparent orange and quinacridone rose. <laughs>
subject, I try to keep a few white areas to give a sense of light. Uh, I figure out that sometimes I have uh, this problem of uh, uh, making too strong, huge uh, mass of uh, colors and uh, it's not so good. It's always nice to keep a bit of uh, light. If at some point you think it's too distracting and that's not what you want, you can always glaze a bit of a wash uh, uh, on the top, but uh, it still uh, gets a bit lighter than your overall uh, painting, so it's uh, nice to think about this. a few bells uh, came so I thought it would be nice just to give life to the painting and adding them in the sky. You can tell that I didn't uh, went through with the sky uh, for the whole painting. Uh, this was because I wanted to have a bit of this reverse yin yang impression of uh, the white on the painted background and here the dome on a white background. Sometimes you know the sky for real. Oh, nice uh, bell uh, ringing. So some, you know the sky here is uh, dark and you can imagine that if you go towards the light out there, it's really lighter. So it could be a bit of an impression I wanted to give. Let's keep going with the bell, it uh, gives a nice atmosphere. And also if I had painting the whole thing with a blue sky or maybe just a lighter shade of blue in here, I would have uh, to wait uh, for it to dry if I wanted hard edges uh, on my domes and I wanted it uh, you know, quick and simple. So it was a nice way to simplify a bit my approach uh, to choose uh, to put the sky only where I need it uh, to the left. And also because white is so important in uh, our painting. I think having uh, this white all around keeps a bit of uh, breathing. I have this uh, thing in my style about keeping uh, the edges, uh, you know, kind of uh, loose and irregular. Um, I know some painters sometimes uh, tell me it could be distracting regarding to I mean the content of the painting, but mm, I guess that's how I uh, like it. So here it is.